Hey guys, Zexus here, bringing you guys another tutorial, this time on Spear. Uh, right now, Spear has little to no bad matchups in my opinion, and it is definitely one of the strongest weapons right now. So it's a great weapon to pick up. Uh, in this video, we're going to cover Spear's true combos and different dodge reads that you can do off of Spear's side light. The true combos we're going to cover on Spear are the side air into neutral light, the side light into neutral light, the down light jump side air, and the down light jump neutral air. The first combo we're going to cover is going to be the side air into end light. Now this combo only works if you have 6 dexterity or above. And there's a couple things to notice in this one. When you're doing the side air, you have to be just becoming, or just getting onto the ground and your opponent has to be grounded. Now, when he's at zero damage like he is now, I can input the side air and I do not have to move afterwards. But if we put him up to a higher damage, you'll notice I'm having to continue my momentum on the stage a little bit after the side air. This combo is going to be true up until about 70 damage, but it becomes a lot harder because you're starting to send them farther away. At 80 damage, you'll just end up hitting them too far. The side light into end light takes very particular spacing and it's a pretty difficult combo. Now, it's going to hit true from 0 till about 40 damage and there is no dex requirement. So, the important parts with this one, if I hit up too close with my side light and I hit the first swing, they're going to be sent too high. Now if I hit only the second swing, you notice they're a lot lower and I'm able to hit the end light. So that's super important because if you notice that you hit the side light too close, that's when you'll go for a dodge read. But if you notice that they're at a low damage, and you hit the second swing, then you'll be able to go for the end light. The D light jump stare is the most important spear combo. It has no dex requirement, it's always true, and it's a kill option. Now it's also going to be super good for punishing people who are super floaty. Okay, the combo looks like this. So people jumping a lot. It's going to hit 33 damage, which is quite a lot. And it's going to be super handy when we get into the side light dodge read part of the video because there's a couple that involves this combo. If the opponent has burned their dodge, you're going to be able to hit another down light by using a gravity cancel. So that looks like this. They will not be able to jump out of that, but it's only really going to work if they burn their dodge. As you can see... The gravity cancel has about 3 dodge frames, so I would generally only use that if the opponent is either very bad at dodging out of strings, or if they have burned their dodge. I'm not going to talk about D-Light Jump Nair for very long, because D-Light Jump Sair is definitely more optimal, but there is one situation here where you'll want to use Nair instead. Now this has no dex requirement by the way, but if I have Zariel jumping here and he is on the edge. If I try to use D-Light Sair, it's not going to hit because Zariel ended up hitting the wall here. Now, because uh, Zariel bounces off the wall, it puts it in a position where you will be able to hit a Nair because Zariel is closer to you and not really in front of you. So it looks like this, like that. So that hits true, doesn't matter the dex, I'm running two dex Nash right now. But that's really the only situation you're going to want to use this one. Now we're going to go over the dodge reads off of side light. This is the order we're going to be going in. Um, there are many different ways to punish these types of dodges, but I'm just going to be showing you guys some of the ones I use. Spot dodges, you're going to want to go side light, wait, D light, gravity cancel, D light, Sair. Now. You guys can see that that did not kill him off the right side of the map. I have kind of put Isaiah here on purpose. So what you can do is hit the side light, dash to the other side, and hit the same thing, 
and it will kill on this map so kind of depending where they are you can pick between the two now when you do the uh, dash to hit the reverse down light make sure it is a dash because if it is a chase dodge you won't be able to hit the extra gravity cancel D light another option for neutral dodges and dodge away if I use a side light I can jump gravity cancel side light so that was neutral dodge we'll go with the right dodge just to show this one too there we go the dodge in read looks like this so when doing this one you're gonna want to do a side light then a back dash down light gravity cancel down light sir for down dodges, you can cover every option with another side light. So, right here, if he dodges straight down, I'm gonna do the same combo, but I cannot do the gravity cancel uh, D light when he dodges straight down because he touches the platform. So, if I gave it that a try, he'll have his dodge back. So, that's the down dodge. Now, the down left. So down and in, you'll have to input a back dash, but same idea. And the down right, there it is, is going to be the same type of thing, except you're going to move towards them. Now I ran out of room there, but you'll be able to hit the 2D lights on that one as well. You have a lot of options when it comes to up dodges on spear. Um, if the opponent is dodging up and in, you can use the same dodge read as the dodge in, as shown there. Now, also, with any of the up dodges, you could hit a recovery, or you could also hit a nair. So there is a ton of options. Now, if they are going up, straight up. Where is it? I went past it. There we go. You could also try to do that, although that is a lot more risky. And recovery is still going to hit that anyways. I know some characters can use SIGs for some of those dodge reads, but uh, we didn't cover that in this video. Uh, that'll come later if I end up doing character specific guides. That's everything I wanted to cover in today's video, although I do plan on doing more spear tutorials in the future. Hopefully this helped you guys and you can get out there and dominate with the spear. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out my Discord and Twitch stream where I try to help you guys as well. Have a good one guys. Peace.